Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Life on 18 Wheels. I'm Mike and if you're new to the channel, would you please consider subscribing to it. Y'all go ahead and give this video a like and we're going to get on with today's video. So as y'all see already today, I got me a load of gas right here. I'm at the Shipley number one here in Alexandria, Louisiana. There's two Shipleys in Ellick. The other one is uh, way on the other side of town over there around the traffic circle. This is actually a donut shop, but it's a gas station, a little convenience store and all that stuff, but they're mainly known for their donut shop. So today I had uh, this load here, which is, uh, I got my no leg going right here. And then uh, I got my super back there, and this is my diesel tank right here. And then this right here is just my vent line sucking the vapors back out of the tanks instead of letting it go in the atmosphere because I'm in the city limits. So we have to, in the city limits, we have to suck the vapors and catch the vapors back into our trailer. My super's done now, so let me get this thing swapped over and I'll be back. Alright, so as I was saying, uh, so we brought uh, 6,500 gallons of no lead, 1,000 gallons of super, 1,000 gallons of diesel here to this location. When I leave here, I got to go back to the Alexandria loading rack, and we're going to get uh, a load of diesel to bring back out to the uh, Clico power plant to the coal yard out there where y'all seen me at about eh, three weeks ago or something like that when I was filming all the the dozers pushing and all that stuff. So we got to go back out there with another load of diesel. And then that's our last one for the day. We didn't have it two little short loads today, which is fine. Giving me a little bit more time off at the house, the wife and the kids. Of course, uh, they're out of school right now because of Mardi Gras and all that. And uh, so we are going to, after we get done at Lena Coal Yard at the Clico, Clico Power Plant, we're going to run to the yard and swap back to the single barrel trailer because I got to go back up to uh, Cotton Valley in the morning and go to back to Louisville, Kentucky. So when we get to the yard, what we're going to do is we're going to back this trailer into the shop. Uh, that way they can grease the uh, rear end here, check tire pressures, check brakes, grease the landing gears, do all that stuff because, of course, I didn't have the trailer Friday when I went and did a service on this trailer. So, I mean on the truck. So I didn't have the trailer, so we're gonna make sure we get the trailer serviced. And then when we get swapped out and get hooked on to the uh, single barrel trailer, we're gonna back it in the shop and we're gonna going to uh, do the same thing we did. Check all the pressures, check all the, you know, grease it all real good, check all the brakes and all that stuff. And then I need to get some new windshield wipers for the truck. I forgot to do that the other day. And uh, yeah, that's about it.
Well, all right. Did y'all see me hit my head just a while ago? Y'all can hear somewhere. That's something that hurts. I forgot all about that. Uh, you know, forgot all about the angle I got to be at to unload, and I hit my my head right on that underneath the tray there. That crap hurt. <laughs> we got the old train moving in. That's pretty cool. And we got them on on the pile over here. Sorry if it's a little loud. Uh, of course, it's gonna be loud out here and pump it off. We got them on the on the pile out here though, moving some product. Those of you who don't know, the machines right there, the belly on them actually drop to the ground and they go around there scraping and they'll scrape up that stuff and it'll fill their fill their bed their belly up and then they'll they'll get back on top of the pile up here and open it up and dump it all and then there's a dozer up there somewhere he's pushing the pile. Uh, actually, you can see one of them going up the pile right now, right there. He's actually up there dumping now. Uh, it's too far away, but you can see him actually dumping it. See that arm thing coming up? That's him dumping that thing. Oh, there's the dozer right there. The dozer's coming up the back side of him, just pushing the pile. They do that constantly, all day long, every day, all day long. I sure hope this train right here moves by the time we leave because I got to go out another way. We can go out out this way. I got to back up over there where that Traco is, and then just go out the side here. But they don't want us going out this way. We we got to go out that way. But I think they're gonna have that train in my way when I leave here. So I'm just gonna back around the corner. We're gonna leave out that way. I decided on this video that. Uh, I'll just skip through instead of speeding things up y'all actually watch me do actually the normal speed of work it's actually feeling pretty good now uh, this morning it was uh, oh, I think it was around 65 degrees this morning when I was unloading that gas and uh, I was actually sweating it was a little bit muggier this morning but cloud coverage done moved in it's actually a little bit cooler out here. And another thing too, I do appreciate everyone that come into that live on Saturday, man. I really thought it was gonna be a, a disaster. And it, man, y'all, y'all are amazing. That was the, probably the most fun I've had in a while, uh, talking with you guys and gals and, and just spending time with y'all. That was, that was fantastic. So I really do appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate you. Last hole. Alrighty. We got done over here. There's a train moving behind me, but I don't know if he's going to move fully out the way or how long that thing is. So we're going to sit here and we're going to try to get out of here, get on the road. We done made it here to the yard. We have already fixed the things on the trailer that needed to get fixed. We already got it serviced, got it greased. Uh, we checked all the tire pressures, all that stuff. We uh, replaced this placard right here. Put a new, a new third brake light right there. We ended up changing all three lights up top because we didn't have one to match. 
and then we changed that side marker light right there so it's all good and ready to go for when I get back hooked onto it and running fuel or run oil in it or whatever it's all good and ready to go so I'm gonna drop this trailer here I'm gonna pick up the single barrel get it backed up in the shop and then we're gonna do the work to it well we got that one taken care of a couple hours later I reckon it's almost lunchtime. Sun's actually wanting to start picking out now. But uh, we got the single barrel taken care of. We, uh, well, heck, I'll just show you that when I get back over there. I'm just walking over here to my gas trailer to make sure I got everything off of it that I need. And ain't forgetting anything. But we got some cables put on my suction and discharge for the little caps that go on it meant to do that when we got the truck out the body shop and we never did so we finally did that and um, we got one of our trailers yeah i got everything off of it we got one of our trailers that had some uh contaminated diesel in it well we got all the water out of the diesel so we've been getting diesel out of that trailer well we're on the last little bit of it i put the last little bit in my truck so got me a couple extra fuel filters just in case uh it decides to have some trash in it which it shouldn't it should be all right uh what else do we get done oh put my new windshield wipers on there and uh yeah i think this next little clip of the video is going to be me shifting the truck i'm gonna have both cameras on the one on my feet and then one on uh, me shifting the truck and i just want to show y'all how i do it and try to see if uh try to see if it'll help out somebody you know on how to shift a 13 speed transmission or an 18 speed don't matter they're both the same kind of transmission but uh yeah i think the next part of this is going to be going to be that so we're about to leave get on to the house and uh, we're going to do this little segment of shifting the truck and stuff. All right, to start this video off, I'm going to just simply explain what a 13 speed is. As you can see on top of your shifter, you got a high and low reverse, you got a low, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This transmission has eight gears. This is a low gear. This is a reverse gear. But your numbered gears, there's only eight of them. And you can split the high sides. So you can split gear five, six, seven, and eight. You can have a low side of that, and then you got a high side of it. That's what the L is and the H, low and high. You cannot split the low side, the, the one, two, three, four. You cannot split them gears. This is a 13 speed. An 18 speed, you can split your low, one, two, three, four, you can split all of, all of them. But you cannot do it on a 13 speed. On a 13 speed, you, you can only split five, six, seven, and eight. Another way to figure out if it's a 13 speed or, or an 18 speed, a 13 speed, this splitter right here is always gonna be red. An 18 speed is going to be gray. Now, when you shift this truck, you don't start out in low. Low is a gear by itself. This truck actually only has 12 speeds. It's a 13 speed transmission. You got a low speed, and then you got one, two, three, four, five low, five high, six low, six high, seven low, seven high, eight low, eight high. So you nest you pr you pretty much got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is twelve speeds. Your low is a speed by itself, but it's not numbered. Your low is a low. It's for like if you're taking off uphill or if you're like a logger out in the woods or something like that, you put that in low and it helps you creep out the woods and stuff like that. 
I hardly ever put it in low unless I'm taking off with a load on a hill. The motor's big enough to just run your regular speeds. I see a lot of guys that say that low is your gear number one. No, it's not. It's clearly marked. That's one. Low is a low gear by itself. So you would shift this truck one, two, three, four, flip your splitter, this one, five, six, seven, eight. But, like I said, you would run the truck. If you needed to, when you're in fifth, you can you can flip you can flip your little side here and that's a high five low five and then you come down to six low six high six flip it seven low seven high seven I'm pretty sure y'all get y'all understand what I'm saying here this is your splitter this is a range selector your range is going to be your low range or your high range this is how you'll split your gears. I really hope uh, I made that understandable. But like I said, I'm gonna throw a GoPro on the ground down there to watch my feet. And then I got my other one up here that's gonna watch me shift. And I will talk while I'm going through it and show y'all how I do it. You may not shift a truck like this. You may not do it exactly like I'm doing it, but I'm gonna show you how I do it and it works for me. So, let's get into this. All right, we're gonna start off. I'm sitting on the side of the road, and we're gonna start. I'm just gonna get up to speed, and then I'm gonna pull over, and we'll do it all again. We'll just do it two or three times, just to show y'all how I do it. One thing I want you to notice is that the, my positioning of my feet, uh, I do not touch that clutch unless I'm coming to a full stop. I want you to take a look at my right foot that's on the throttle and my left foot, they work together on the brake and stuff like that. You will notice that my foot never comes completely off the pedal. This is a diesel engine. You gotta wind it up and then get out of it. Wind it up, get out of it. This ain't no gas engine where it's just wah, 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 you know. This is a diesel engine. You got to warm it up. You got to you gotta wind it up. So, and it's not no speed shift and speed racer here either. This is, you got to be easy with it. Now, the more faster you want to do your shifting and try to speed shift, you're going to tear something up. So, we're going to get into this and we'll see you know, if we can make something out of it. I'm gonna push the clutch all the way. You never push the clutch halfway. Push the clutch all the way to the floor to let the stop clutch engage. That way you can put it in gear. It goes right into gear. But if you half clutch it, you're not gonna get it in gear. So from there, I got some traffic coming. We're going to ease off the clutch, let the truck start rolling, and then get into it. I've moved my left foot away from that area because I'm not going to use it. I do not touch the clutch at all. And you'll notice on the video that the foot never comes completely off the shifter. Right there, I'm in fifth gear. I can go high on the fifth. Just bear the little off and push the throttle. I'm taking it out of high fifth and going into low sixth. And I'm steadily just feathering the throttle. You ain't got a, a, a lot of these people you see sometimes when they're shifting a truck. For example, right here I'm going from six to low seven. It falls right in. But some guys, they'll take their shifter and they'll split it, the gear, and then they'll want to pop it out of gear and then pop it right back in. You don't have to do that. Just let off the throttle, go back in the throttle. That's how easy it is. Do not ever pull your foot completely off the pedal. You don't have to. If you got a bind on a transmission, you will not get it out of gear. You cannot get a truck 
out of gear if you got a bind on the transmission. Just hold a little pressure off of it, slowly let off the throttle, and it pops right out of gear. Now hold your foot on the same position, pops right back in gear. That's how easy it is. Now I'm going to flip it to high eight. Now we're in high eight now. That's our maximum speed that we got, our maximum gears that we got. shift into a lower gear I can use my foot to, 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 to pedal it. Now I'm at a full stop, put my range selector down into the low side, move my left foot to the clutch, push it all the way in, goes right in gear and we're going to take off again. Move my foot completely away from the clutch. Second, third, Flip it up in a high range. Go to sixth. Flip the splitter. There's fifth high. Give it throttle. Flip the splitter back to low. Go to sixth. All right. Flip the splitter. We're in a high six right now. Just keep gas on it. Holding that off. We're in a seventh. There's high seventh right there. Split her back to low side. Shift. We're in eighth. And then flip your splitter. And there's high eight right there. That's the last gear again, right there. One more time, I'm going to pull over and we're going to do it all over again. Actually, this time I'm going to downshift it this time and show you all how that. Alright, right now we're in high eight. I'm going to put the splitter to go back in the low side. I'm going to ease off the throttle, get back into it. Now I'm in a low eight. I'm not going to keep going from high to low, high to low down through the gears. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to throw my flashers on. I'm going to pop it out of gear. Give it more throttle. Down in seven. When you're downshifting, you're going from a, a lower RPM and up. You're downshifting, you got to have a higher RPM. So I'm going to put my left foot on the brake. Give it more throttle. Going to, to a sixth, give it more bottle, go in a fifth, we'll take it out, but we're going to pull over right there. Now, from there, we're already in the low side, we're going to go to first gear. We're going to take off, my foot's away from the clutch, there's second gear, there's third gear. There's fourth gear. There's fifth gear. There's a high fifth. There's a low six. There's a high six. There's a low seven.
said before though, your gears at a 13 speed and an 18 speed is pretty much the same, but you can split your lower range gears on a 18 speed. You can split your load, you can split one, two, three, and four, and of course five, six, seven, and eight. It is so simple to do this if you just respect the truck, respect the transmission, and it will do what you need it to do. Now, starting off, if you never drove a standard, you're gonna you're gonna grind gears, you're gonna do stuff like that. But with practice, makes perfect. Nobody's perfect in shipping a truck. I'm not perfect, but that's how I do it. And I hope y'all y'all enjoyed that part of it. I hope y'all learned something from it. Like I said, you see a lot of guys, they want to pull their foot all the way off the pedal and be doing all that. You don't have to do all that. As long as you feather it, it's, 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 like, it's like the waves in the ocean. Just, you got to work with it, you know. If you want to abuse it, it's going to abuse you and it's gonna, you're going to tear the truck up. Just take your time with it and you'll be just fine. Well, as y'all can see, me and old Rusty, we done made it to the house. Today's been a pretty good day today. Uh, pretty much had that load of gas this morning. And then we come back and got that load of diesel out there to Clico. And then I had to go run out to the yard, swap out trailers in the process of doing all that. Needed to service the trailers and stuff like that. We got everything done that I needed to get done with these trailers. Um, I know this video right here is going to be a little bit of a longer one because I wanted to add in the uh, shifting thing in there and I do appreciate it if you have watched this video so far and uh, if you have just drop it down there in the comments on what you think about a longer video uh, I'm telling you right now like I said on my live uh, these videos could be an hour long every day if I if I actually just put everything in it that I wanted to. So y'all let me know down there in the comments on how y'all, you know, longer video, shorter video. Tell me, you know, about it and stuff like that. Tell me how you like it. If you don't like it, you know, hold on. Uh, that's some cables I was telling y'all about. We just wrapped the cable around and put it on the cap. Same way on the discharge. Just put us a little cable there. That way when I take the cap and stuff off like that, it can hang. Instead of me having to put the cap on the ground and it getting dirty and stuff like that. 
But anyways, yeah, put down in the comments what y'all think about this longer video. Uh, I understand that not a lot of people's got an hour to sit around to watch a video at a time. And that's the reason why I like to keep them around 20, 30 minutes long because, you know, you, to me it just feels like you'd be more engaged that way. But just let me know how the longer video is. And if, if y'all don't mind the longer video or y'all watch the whole video and stuff like that, you know, just let me know and, and I'll make the videos 40 minutes, 50 minutes long, something like that. Because trust me, I can. There's a lot of stuff I can add in these videos. Uh, y'all can see my hat changed today. The boss man told me that uh, he wanted me to start wearing a Giller Petroleum hat in the videos. I'm not a hat person. I, I, honestly, I'm not. I'm not a hat person. It's got to be a well-fitted hat for me to wear it. And this one right here, I just feel like it sits too far up on my head. And then and the pocket ain't deep enough. I'll tell you what kind of hats I like. I like the Richardson's. The Richardson hats. The six-panel Richardson hats. Them are some nice hats. Uh, so, I got it. My brother has got a buddy of his that does patch hats. So, I might get him to make me a patch hat with our new logo. This is our old logo. Old, our, this is our old logo, so I might get them to do uh, one with the newer logo, which is this right there. Uh, like I said, this video is going to be a little bit of a longer one. It's actually very nice outside right now. It is uh, 73 degrees or something, but man, as y'all can tell uh, by the bushes right there, it's the wind's blowing and it feels good. Uh, I'm not going to do much more this evening. Our load tomorrow at Cotton Valley uh, appointment is at 11 o'clock. But, but, I'm going to get up early in the morning, get on down there, uh, get on up there, and get loaded and get on out of there. So, I was planning on maybe going this evening up there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to spend the time with my wife and my kids because I know I'm going to be gone for the rest of the week. And they're out of school today because it's uh, Mardi Gras, like I said. It's Mardi Gras week. But I think they go back to school Wednesday, I think. I don't know. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted to show y'all something real fast. Uh, I told y'all on my live I would show y'all a map of everywhere I've been at. So, I'm going to throw that little bitty clip in right here. But that's where all the places I've been at. I've been to a lot of places. And at each one of them, each one of them little yellow dots is where I've been to. A different oil company that I have been to. So, nice looking peak right there going by. We got a gravel pit about a mile down the road. They're hauling out of that gravel pit today. But anyways, like I said... I sure do hope y'all enjoyed this video. I understand it was a little bit longer one. And for y'all who's watched the whole thing, I really do appreciate you. It really does help out with the algorithms and stuff like that. Gets the video out there for more people to see. If y'all did like this video, would y'all please give it a thumbs up? I would show y'all, but I got my hands full. <laughs> and if you ain't subscribed to the channel, would you please consider subscribing? And like I said before, I do hope y'all enjoyed it. We will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed one. Y'all bless each one of y'all. Peace.